I was going on and on in my pregame press conference. You better be under center on the first freaking play. <laughs> and they were. I mean, look, they go, they go, uh, I formation, Kittle next to Trent Williams, toss to the left. Let's establish our best play right off the bat. And uh, it works. They gained five yards. It's a great play. It's not flashy. It's just common sense. Good job. Okay, let's move on to the next play. It really is. These outside runs are really what works is working best for the 49ers this year. And it's partly, you know, the offensive line is not getting a whole lot of push. So you make people run, and that's exactly what uh, what we're seeing. Absolutely. All right, here's play two. Yeah. This is this is the uh, – Oh, yeah. This is set the, the tone for the whole game. Yeah, it really did. The, the whole first, the whole first drive uh, was like this. Really, in the first first half, you know, a nice, nice blocking up front. Should be a short game, but Samuel does a good job realizing he's not down. This is amazing. So in the press box, when as soon as a play is over, I I look down and I and I write down what happened the yardage. I look down at this point, yeah. and I, I I hear people say, "Hey, play's not over. Play's not over." Uh-huh. My goodness, I've yeah. never quite seen something like that. It happens every once in a while, but no, this I was right with you there with you watching it on, on the TV. I looked away. Uh-huh. It's like, oh my God. Yep. What a player. It's too bad you can't call like 10 of these a game, right? <laughs> hey, well, they ran they ran five. So uh, <laughs> yeah, they're getting there. Uh-huh. They ran them quite often, you know, on, on uh Sunday night. So but again, like we were talking a couple of weeks ago about how sh- you know Shanahan could have made the could have made things as easy as possible for Nick Mullins uh, against the Eagles. I'm not. I don't want to talk about Nick Mullins, but all I'm saying is like what he did in this game was call the first four passes were passes behind the line of scrimmage. That's perfect. That's exactly what you do, and it's interesting that he did it for his franchise quarterback, but not his backup. I, I don't. I really don't understand what happened the first five weeks of the season. But we're moving on, and we're now into week seven, and it was really encouraging to see Shanahan do what we all know he can do. I think we. I think what happened was he listened to the roundtable on our Thursday <laughs> roundtable, when we pretty much we pretty much said that this is what they should be opening up the game with, was was running left, you know, horizontally, uh, sideline to sideline with the tosses and and the receivers, uh, yeah, easy throws for for Garoppolo on the screens, and that's yeah. really what we saw. I mean, you know, kind of perfect a little bit here, but yeah. I mean, we said they should come out running. I mean, all of these passes were extended runs. That's really? basic. This is a run. I mean, come on, they call it a pass. It should be a run. Yes, it is. You know, and what's interesting is Shanahan considers these runs. So I'm sure when they're grading Jimmy Garoppolo, they don't give Jimmy a grade on this play other than, you know, carrying out the fake or something like that. Right. Right. Okay, next play. Let's go to let's go to the, the fourth play of the game. It's the uh what a time is it? 1310. Sure. Here we go. So this is the still the first drive, second and eight. Yeah. And so what this oh, is, is yeah. it's, it's more of the more of the same kind of a philosophy. Basically, just this is really just using your a throw to to be to run a sweep. Yep, is really what it is. And, and, and again, that's a layup for the kid for for Jimmy layup. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And this you know it's a sweep screen, however you want to define it, but it's that's really what it is. It's just a it's a extended run play uh, with the quarterback throwing the ball out there to him. This would be like the touchdown, similar to the touchdown that uh, IU scored against the, the Eagles early on. Agree. And this is this is technically an RPO, right? I mean, they're reading this guy. If he goes with IU, you hand it off. I think if he doesn't, if he commits to the running back, then you just toss it out here and you have numbers. No, he's still nice that play. all the way. He's still that all the way. Okay. Yeah, because if you if you if you watch the receipt, neither the receiver at the top of the screen is just going up the block. The inside receiver. Mm. Goes if he just kind of turns and looks, and okay. Once he realizes there's no threat, he gets up upfield to the second level. Okay. Well, I like it, yeah. and it's it, it's it's a it's like a clinic on how to start your game without asking your quarterback to do anything. <laughs> Yeah, no, it, it, worked, it worked out perfect because they were able to get in a roll. We're getting the playmakers all into the game at this point. It's 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 uh it's good stuff. 